Jersey. Also in the starting lineup, Matthew Snare, averaging 13.2 points. He's a 6'4 sophomore, 195 pounder out of Boca Raton, Florida. And now let's stand and listen to the national anthem. last notes of the national anthem waft into the rafters here at the Woodpeck Center we are getting ready for another great conference game between the Emory Eagles and NYU Violets let's check in again with that starting lineup Nick Stuck number 13 he's your point guard for Emory number 13 he's averaging 6.7 points per game 2.9 rebounds per game he's a 6'2 sophomore 180 pounder out of Lithia Florida and again the other starters for Emory Matthew Snare number 32 he's averaging 13 points per game Jabari Beatty, number 24, averaging 10.2 points per game. He's the 6'2", 180-pound senior out of uh, Decatur, Georgia. Uh, Lawrence Rowley, 6'5", sophomore, 200-pounder out of Ypsilanti, Michigan. He's playing big this year, 14.5 rebounds per game, 7.9 rebounds per game. And uh, Roman Williams, leading scorer on the team, 17.2 points per game, 3.7 uh, rebounds per contest. He's averaging 4.2 assists per game as well. He's a 6'5", 155 pound sophomore out of Harvey, Louisiana. So there's your starting five for the Emory Eagles. Emory has just been playing very, very well lightly here at home during this uh, four game homestand. They are uh, hitting 47% from the field, 35% from the three point arc, 76% from the uh, free throw line. They're averaging 43 rebounds per game. They are leading the conference in scoring 93.6 points per game. They've just been a scoring machine this season. Uh, they're averaging 18.1 assists per contest, just 12.1 turnovers per contest, and they're coming up with 7.2 steals per game. Now for uh, the Violets of NYU, like I said, they've had their struggles this year. They're 6-11 and 11 overall, 0-6 in conference play. They're shooting 44% from the field, 30% from the home run land, 70% from the free throw line. They're averaging 41 rebounds per contest, 12.3 uh, assists per game. They're averaging 69.7 points per game, so it's going to be kind of interesting. Uh, Emory's averaging 93.6 points per game and NYU 69.7 points per game. So we'll see how that all works out. The, the Violets are also averaging 4.8 steals per game and 3.8 blocks per contest. So we're getting ready to play, start this one off. Jumping center for the Emory Eagles is going to be big Lawrence Rowley, the 6'5", 200-pounder out of Ypsilanti, Michigan. He's the team's leading rebounder, second leading scorer. The Violets come in wearing their black jerseys, Emory in the home white. And we are getting ready to roll here. Jumping center number 22, Dom Cristiano, the leading scorer and rebounder for the, uh, the Violets. And the ball's up, the tip is up, and Emory controls it, and this game is underway. Quickly, long ranger Roman Williams in and out, no good, rebounded there by Jewel Brown, and he'll bring it down himself. Number four is Jordan Harris. He's the point guard kind of taking over for uh, Cam Moore, who's injured. Drive to the hoop, number 33, Jimmy Martinelli. It's blocked nicely by Emery. And out of bounds is going to be NYU ball. They have 13 seconds on the shot clock, so they got plenty of time to get something off. Emery trapping 
Cristiano in the corner, but he gets it out. Back inside, little short one, no good. Rebound put back up and in by Don Cristiano. And first blood goes to the Violets of NYU as Emory trails 2-0. Quickly blocked by Cristiano. Quickly up it comes. Then a steal. Great hands behind the back by Jabariel Beatty. Then he drops it in, almost goes in with the pass as he tried to get into Matthew Snare. Didn't quite go, but an exciting play right off the bat. And with uh, 18.53 to go in this game, it is still just two zip. The Violets leading the Eagles of Emory. Cassieri now over to Harris. Harris inside, leading score. Cristiano misfiring there with the left handed sky hook. It goes out of bounds, and it'll be Emory basketball. Nick Stuck's going to bring it across the court. He's done an excellent job. He's been in the starting lineup now for four games. Done a really good job leading assist man on the team, averaging 4.8 assists per game. Roman Williams misfires on the uh, three-pointer. And so the Violets come down. Emory has been shooting very, very well here at home the last three games. We'll see if they can make it four in a row here today. Emory on that three-game winning streak. 13-4 and four on the season. Drive into the hoop, putting it up, and no good is Jordan Harris. And out fly the Eagles. Inside it goes. Nice pass, comes back out. Jabariel Beatty wide open from three. In and out, no good. Terrific offensive board by Snare. He brings it back up, and the Eagles will reset. Snare spins, drives, puts it up, just won't go. And boy, Emory's tossed up four or five shots. They've all been around, in and out, and almost in, but none of them have dropped so far, so it's still two zip. The Violets with the lead on the one hook by Cristiano. Harris now with it. Comes over to Cassieri. Lob pass to nobody here, taken away by uh, Roman Williams, who brings it down. Nobody stops him, dishes it off nicely. Back outside, long ranger by, Jim, by Lawrence Riley, who drills it, and Emory takes the lead, three to two, in another game where Emory has a three-pointer. Martinelli dribbling it down. He's got the face mask on to protect his nose. Cassieri with it now. To the point guard, Jordan Harris. Violet's very deliberate. They figure their best way to stay in this game is to slow it down, use a lot of the shot clock. But, boy, there's two air balls in a row. That's not going to help their cause. Beatty with it. He just inside. Matthew Snare backs in, backs in. Turnaround jumper. Baby hook just off the front of the iron. No good. Rebound out of there by Cristiano, who is their leading rebounder as well. He's averaging 15.4 points and 10.3 rebounds per game. And Don Cristiano bags that one, so it's 4-3 now. With the Violets back in the lead. To the side it goes inside to Rally. Rally, who has the three-pointer, puts it up no good, but he draws the foul by Cristiano. And he's a guy that uh, Coach Jason Zimmerman would love to see getting a little bit of foul trouble here because he's their leading scorer and leading rebounder, and he's really a presence inside good size at 6'8 215 pounds out of Valhalla New York NYU making some changes now in comes number five Robbie Hawkinson who's averaging nine points and 6.7 rebounds per game along with number 14, Riley Demps, who's a freshman. Matt Davet checks to Davit checks checks in for the uh, Emory Eagles. Matt's having a fantastic season: 16.9 points per game, 6.1 rebounds per game. He really makes things happen when he comes in off the bench. Emory with a 5-4 lead. Harris with it now, directing traffic. He's their point guard. Dems with it to freshman. Stolen away. 
by Jabariel Beatty and then deflected and then Matt Davitt picks it up, spins, puts it up, puts it over to Snare in the corner who drives in, comes back over, Jabariel Beatty from three, in and out, no good again, another good looking shot in the air, just won't drop. And Emory's lead 5-4, Cassieri inside, no good, good defense by Stuck, he leads out to Snare, Snare cross court. Beatty with it, who goes cross court to Roman Williams from three, and that one goes. Roman Williams hits his first three-pointer, and Emory takes an 8-4 to four lead. And then a quick timeout by Coach Dagan Nelson. He says, let's not let this game get out of hand early, folks. So Emory with an 8-4 lead with 15.07 to go here in the game. Let's take a look by the numbers now. Four, the number of teams tied for first in the UAA. Emory, Wash U, Rochester, and Chicago, all with four and two records. Five, number of games Emory has 20 or more assists, leads the UAA with 18.0 per game assist. Ten, the number of games Emory has fewer turnovers than their opponent, and they're 10-0 and 0 in those games. Twelve, the number of games Emory has scored 90 or more points. They lead the UAA with a 93.6 point per game average. 14, the number of game Emory has led at the half, and they're 13-1 and one in those games, and 561, now 562 and games with a three-pointer for the Emory Eagles. Emory picking up full-court pressure. NYU with no trouble breaking the pressure. Dishing it off to Demps, the freshman. Cassieri now over to Harris, the point guard. Stolen away nicely by Matt Davitt. Quickly to Stuck. Stuck looking to be aggressive and make something happen. Davitt from way downtown, and he hits nothing but the bottom of the net. 11 to 4. Matt Davitt with the three pointer. He's averaging 16.9 points per game. Second leading rebounder. Emory as well. Emory forcing a turnover, and with a seven point lead, Emory has the ball again. Checking in Clay Washburn. 6'6", 180-pound sophomore out of Brentwood, Tennessee. He's done a great job for the Emory Eagles coming in off the bench. Davitt blocked by Cristiano. 19 seconds on the shot clock. Plenty of time. Stuck takes it to the hole. He has it blocked by Jimmy Martinelli. It goes out of bounds, so it's going to be Emory basketball with 14-14. Go here in the first half underneath their own uh, bucket. Jabariel Beatty checks back in. Roman Williams takes a breather. Emory with an 11-4 lead right now early in the basketball game. Emory on a three-game winning streak. NYU on a six-game losing streak. And Matt Davitt with back-to-back -back daggers. Dangerous Matt Davitt. He has Six points on two three-pointers. Emory with a 10-point lead now. Clay Washburn with the block. It's going to go over to NYU. Good defensive play. And Emory starting to uh, flex its muscle just a little bit with a 10-point lead here. Clay Washburn harassing the inbounds pass. They come deep. Nobody there but our own Nick Stuck who takes it all the way down, lays it up, lays it in. And it's 16-4, to a 12-point lead. And Coach Dagan Nelson says, timeout, timeout. Let's regroup. This is getting out of hand. 16 to 4 with 13.52 to go. Emory in control of this one so far. Let's take a look at the UAA records right now. We got a four-way tie for first place. Emory, Rochester, Chicago, and Wash U all with four and two records. Emory 13 and 4 overall. Rochester 14 and 3 overall. Brandeis is 3 and 3. Uh, Emory beat them on Friday. Carnegie Mellon is 3-3. Three three. Case Western Reserve 2-4. And, and then the Violets here of NYU 0-6 right now. 6-11 and, and in the bottom of the division. But it's going to be very interesting the next couple of weeks how these uh, records shake out with four teams tied right at this moment with four and two records. Emory goes to Brandeis next Friday and then takes on NYU next Sunday. So they're on the road next weekend when the Super Bowl's here in town. Jimmy Martinelli dribbles it on up. He has the nose guard protecting his nose. And it goes long range, or good pass inside it goes from Hoppy. 
to Barry Hawkinson. It was a good two-man play there. Cade Hoppy to Barry Hawkinson. And that's what you want to do if you're uh, in the situation of being down 16-4. to four. You take a timeout, you work a play, you get that score, and you try to bring the momentum back a little bit your own way. But Emory with a 10-point lead. And right down the lane goes Nick Stuck, who banks it up and in. Nick has done a tremendous job since being inserted into the starting lineup uh, three games ago. He leads the team with assists, 4.8 assists per game, and does a really good job as the floor general. 18 to 6. No good there by Jewel Brown. And out fly the Emory Eagles. Great pass to Barry Obeidy. Nick Stuck couldn't cap it off, but it's a nice pass there. It's a good fast break and quickly down court. Jewel Brown has it stolen away. Clay Washburn ahead to Stuck, who loses the handle. Mad scramble. Bo Bomarito, who's just checked in for Emory, almost comes up with it, number 30, but it's going to go into the hands of number 11, Jewel Brown, and he's going to bring it across the court. Hawkinson now to Jewel Brown. Back to Hawkinson. they got a lot of size on this uh, NYU team. A lot of guys, 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, Cristiano, 6'8". Bomarito's pass is deflected out of bounds, so it's going to be Emory basketball. 24 seconds on the shot clock. Matt Davitt takes a seat. In comes uh, Roman Williams. So we got Bo Bomarito, Roman Williams, Clay Washburn, Jabari Beatty, and Lawrence Rowley out there are the five guys in white for the Emory Eagles. Washburn with it, gives it up to the point guard, Roman Williams. Rowley can hit from out there. Bo Bomarito, he had eight points the uh, last time out against Brandeis. Roman Williams drives in, dishes it off. Bo Bomarito from the corner for three, just a little short. Rebound by Williams. He pops it up and pops it in. Roman Williams now with five points. As Emory leads 20 to 6, that's the biggest lead of the game, 14 points. Emory with the full court pressure, broken by NYU. Nice pass. Number five, Bobby Hawkinson to the big slam jam there by number 22, Dom Cristiano. Long range, three pointer, no good. Rebound there by Hawkinson. Fast break, and another jam, back-to-back -back jams by Cristiano. So NYU saying, hey, Emory, you might be the leading scorer in the conference and one of the top scoring teams in all of Division Three, but we'll run with you. We'll rebound, we'll get that outlet pass, and we'll run. Nobody stops Harris, and finally he gets stopped. Outside to Cristiano, who's just had back-to-back -back big rim rattling slam jams. Jewel Brown up and in. And NYU on a bit of a run here. 20 to 12, they scored the last six points. Roman Williams over to Clay Washburn. He had a nice game Friday against Brandeis coming off the bench. Rally now to Beatty. Tipped away. Emory not quite as sharp as they were on Friday. And a terrific pass and another slam jam. Terrific pass by Jimmy Martinelli. To his running mate, Don Cristiano, who slams it in. NYU has just scored the last eight points of the ball game. And a 14-point lead is now down to just six. Let's take a look here with the super slow motion from Emory Vision TV. Here comes the great pass by Martinelli ahead to Cristiano, who goes up with a big slam jam. He's got three slams. Those are very high percentage shots. Dom Cristiano is hitting 56% from the field, but when they're slam dunks, you get a good high percentage going. Mason Johnson has checked in for uh, Coach Jason Zimmerman. Mason's a nice looking 6'7", 215 pound freshman out of Phoenix, Arizona. He's going to trigger it inbounds to Roman Williams. Other three guys in white for Emory are Matthew Snare, number 32, Lawrence Rowley, number 14, and Jabari Beatty, number 24. So those are your five in the home jerseys. Emory, 20 to 14, six-point lead, led by as many as 14. Mason Johnson is fouled. 
And Emory will get the ball out of bounds. That's their second team foul. Not many fouls called so far in the first 10 minutes of the game. Emory hasn't had been whistled for one yet. Rowley with it, thought about the three, hit one earlier, first of the game. Violet's playing man-to-man -man defense. Rowley's got to get a shot off. Or Williams hits the top of the rim. Long rebound goes to Barry Hawkinson, and here come the Violets. Harris with the ball. Now to Martinelli. Drives in. Nobody stops. It kind of forces one up. Tipped up by Cristiano. No good. And out comes Beatty with it for Emery. Tough pass to handle to Mason Johnson. It goes off his chin. Turnover, and here come NYU. Inside it goes. Cristiano goes up, lays it up, and lays it in. He's got 12 points. He's been a one-man wrecking machine. He's got three big, four big slam jams. That lay up there. He has 12 points to pace everybody. It's 20 to 16. NYU has scored 10 straight. Jumper, Roman Williams. Finally, Emory gets off 22 points. They're off the 20 points, now it's 22 to 16. A six-point lead, Emory led by as many as 14. And then Matthew Snare gets it, takes it to the hole, and gets fouled, so he's going to go to the free throw line. Against Brandeis, Emory had five guys in double figures. Matthew Snare now with 8.57 to go in the first half, hits the first. Matthew Snare, 6'4", 195-pound sophomore out of Boca Raton, Florida. He's a 64% free throw shooter, averaging 13.2 points per game. And he hits them both, 24-16. Emory with the full court pressure. They go into the middle. Emory breaks it. NYU breaks it like you're supposed to break it, trying to pass the basketball. Jewel Brown with it now. Over to Demps. Three-pointer. No good by the freshman. And out come the Emory Eagles. Stuck with it. Looking for somewhere to go. Comes back out to Rally from home run land. No good. And a whistle away from the ball. Ted Georgiatis, he's called for the foul. He looked to me like he had position, but foul was called on him. It's going to be Emory basketball under their own hoop. Roman Williams triggers it in. And nice move there by Big Lawrence Rowley, who faked the give back to Williams and just took the baseline and went up and put it up and in. Emory now with a comfortable 10-point lead, 26-16. A lot more comfortable than when it was cut to four. And then a steal, snare. Kind of stolen right back by Hawkinson. Jewel Brown with it now. He gives it up. Jumper from the baseline and is good. And that's Dom Cristiano again. He has been red hot today and really the guy scoring all the points for NYU. 26 18. And then a block. Jewel Brown is whistled with the foul. He doesn't believe it. He thought he had position. NYU coach Dagan Nelson argues his position, but it's going to go against NYU. It's going to be Emory basketball underneath their own hoop. Nick Stuck's going to trigger it in to Matt David, who's just checked back in. David to Stuck, and away around we go. Roman Williams takes it to the hoop, lays it up, lays it in. Terrific drive by Roman Williams. He's got nine points already in this one. Emory picking up with a full court pressure. 28-18, a 10-point Emory lead. They get it across. Cassieri, nice turnaround. Baby hook, no good there by Ted Georgiatis. 
Emery clears it out. Nick stuck with it quickly down court. He's going to take the 15-footer, and he's going to just miss. It just rolled off the edge. And NYU has it and brings it on up. Long range. Demps, no good. Rebound to Roman Williams, who kind of forgot to block Demps out, but then went back and got the long rebound. He goes inside. A rally, rally. Turn around, Jay. No good. Cleared out of there by George G or Ted Giannis. And it's 28-18. Emory with a 10-point lead. Whistle away. Matt David got tied up, tangled up. It was Don Cristiano, and they whistled that one against Matt, so it's his first, team's first. Into the corner it goes. 6.24 to go here in the first half. Emory led by as many as 14. Jewel Brown with it. Hangs in the air. Hits a flat shot but gets his own rebound. Then misfires on that and out. Race the Eagles. Nick Stuck gives it up. Long ranger. Matthew Snare. A little bit too long. Long rebound is hauled down by Georgiatis to Jewel Brown. He disses it inside. And there's Dom Cristiano. Slam jam. He has 16 big points. He has been outstanding today. Emory's lead cut to 8, 28, 20. Matt Davitt. Blasting in, forcing it in, and then he's hit in the nose. I think he's going to be okay, but boy, battling, working really hard in there against Jimmy Martinelli. Martinelli's holding, you know, he's wearing one of those nose guards. David got hit in the nose, but David gets the last lap as he scored and now has eight points. Full court pressure. Cassier, a lob in there, number 32, Kate Hoppy, who lays it up and in, an easy breakage of the uh, full court pressure, and Coach Jason Zimmerman doesn't like to see that. Snare takes the baseline, puts it up, and puts it in. Matthew Snare now with four points. Emory back to a 10-point lead at 32-22. Five minutes to go. Long range. Martinelli no good. Big rebound out of there by Hawkinson. No good. And then Matthew Snare cleans it out for Emery. Stuck. Love the way he runs the fast break. If there's nobody in front of him, he'll take it on in there and make something happen. Long range. Matt David with the dagger. Dangerous Matt David with another three-pointer. He's got three three-pointers in this first half and 11 points to pace the Emory Eagles and with 4.31 to go in the half, Emory with a 13-point lead at 35-22. Let's take a look now with our Emory Vision Super Slow Mo. Dom Cristiano making his move, going up strong, slamming it down. He's having a huge game so far. Dom Cristiano is eight of 10 from the field. He has 16 points to pace NYU. Nobody else with more than two points for the uh, Violets. For Emory, Matt Davitt leads the way with 11 points. Roman Williams has nine. Lawrence Rowley has seven points. Nick Stuck has four. Matthew Snare has four. And that rounds out your scoring in the ballgame. But, uh, yeah, Cristiano with eight of ten from the field. And about five of them have been slam dunks. Really a good ball player. He's averaging 15.4 points per game and 10.3 rebounds per game. And he's a 6'8 junior out of Valhalla, New York. Coach Jason Zimmerman in his 12th season here as coach of the Emory Eagles. He's led the team to nine consecutive winning seasons and six consecutive trips to the NCAA tournament. Has just done an outstanding job. 
Emery again with the full court pressure and again failing to stop the Vilas from coming up. Nice block by Davitt. Nice block again, but the second time he got a little bit of number 32, Cade Hoppy. So Hoppy's going to go to the free throw line. Hoppy's a 6'8 freshman out of El Dorado, California. He's a 70% free throw shooter. Miss fires on that one. He's averaging 6.9 points and 3.5 rebounds per game. Emery with a 13 point lead, now 12. Quickly, Nick stuck up, drops it in. Rowley with a great baby hook shot. And Rowley hits, and he's got nine points. Again, full court pressure. Luke Morrison has checked in for the Emory Eagles, number three. He quickly gets a foul called on him. He's a 6'4", 195-pound sophomore out of Bristol, Indiana, a fellow Hoosier. Emory with the lead, 37-23, 14-point lead. Morrison making the good defensive effort there. Outside it goes to Martinelli. They got a foul away from the ball. And it's going to be whistled on Jabari Beatty, so that's his first. I'm not really sure what he did there, but uh, whatever it was, it was illegal. So he's whistled for the foul. NYU gets the ball back. Jewel Brown, kind of a one-man band there, trying to make something happen. A little too hard off the glass. Long Ranger, Matthew Snare, yes! A dagger again from the home run land as Emery again continues to shoot well on this home stand, and this is the biggest lead of the game at 17 points, 40 to 23. 3.25 to go here in the first half. Emory playing man-to-man -man defense. Snare moving his feet against Martinelli. Jewel Brown with it now, number 11, checked by Beatty. They're trying to get into the, their big guy, Dom Cristiano, if they can. Jewel Brown blocked beautifully by Luke Morrison, who timed it just perfectly, gets the block. And he gets the high five, and he comes over to the sideline as Clay Washburn checks in for the final 306. Long Ranger, Martinelli, three-pointer, no good. Emery rebounded out there nicely by Jabari Beatty. Nick Stuck trying to make something happen here. Emery moving the ball very well, very smoothly, very nicely. Taking the shots when they come. And hitting very well from the home run stripe. Beatty back outside. Washburn. Jumper. Just won't go. Tipped by Raleigh. No good. Rebound. No good by Schnare. Emery really hitting the offensive glass there. Snare and Raleigh both getting offensive boards. It finally goes out of bounds, and it's going to be... NYU basketball with 2.30 to go in the first half, and Emory up 40 to 23. Emory with a full court pressure. NYU, frankly, has done a pretty good job of breaking the full court pressure. They've passed it very well. That's how you want to break it. They've gotten a couple of nice, easy slam dunks on the end of it. Harris now back in his point guard. Over to Cassieri. Cassieri takes baseline, dishes it out. Around it goes. Martinelli with it. Cross court now, Jewel Brown trying to force it into Dom Cristiano. And that's good thinking because he's got 16 points on 8 of 10 from the field. So when he's shot, it has been deadly. Went off at Emory Eagle. It's going to be NYU basketball, but just three seconds on the shot clock. Just three seconds. Martinelli takes it, shoots it. No good. Rebound Matthew Snare. And away we go. Stuck. Takes it deep. Gives it back out to Washburn. Washburn loses the handle. There's Snare. Takes it in. Lays it in. It goes. And that one's going to count. Matthew Snare now with nine points. 42 to 23. Your lead. 19 points. Matthew.
Matthew Snare. Emory is 15 of 35 from the field, 43%. They are 6 of 15 from the home run arc for 40%. So Emory again shooting pretty well from the field. Snare with the free throw. Puts it up, puts it in. 10 points for him. Emory with a 20-point lead at 43 to 23. NYU went a bit on a big 8-0 run when Emory had a 14-point lead. They cut it back to four, but since then, Emory has kind of taken control of everything and was cruising along with a 20-point lead. Demp trying to get something going. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Cristiano puts it up and puts it in. Guy with a fantastic first half, 18 points. Clay Washburn, that's a goal 10. That's a goal 10. That's a goal 10. Clay Washburn's going to get credit for that. Terrific pass inside. Clay Washburn laid it in. And one of the Violets blocked it against the glass. So it's 45-25. Inside to Dom Cristiano again. Baby hook, and that goes again. He's got 20 points. In the first half, he has 20 of his team's 27. Snare with it. He thought his teammate Clay Washburn was going to zig. Instead, Clay zag, and the ball goes out of bounds. A turnover. 45 27, 56 seconds to go here in the first half. Been pretty much all Emory's way. They trailed by two early. But once they took the lead at 5-4, to four, they have not looked back. Clay Washburn with it. Around the horn it goes. Nick Stuck. Snare. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Beatty needs to shoot it. Takes it on in, lays it up. No good rebound out of there by Demps. Great. Ridley Demps taking it all the way down there. There was a walk, and it's going to be Emory basketball with 28 seconds to go. So there's time for one shot. Emory with a 45-27 to 27 lead. Coach Zimmerman says, let's play for the last shot. Nick stuck with it. 12 seconds to go. Probably time to get a play going. Rowley comes out. Washburn mishandles it. Takes the long ranger and almost gets it to go. And that's the end of your first half. As the Emory Eagles lead it 45 to 27. They trailed early by a couple of points. They took the lead at 5-4 and never looked back. And right now at the half, they lead it 45 to 27. Just a quick look at the leading scores for the Violets of NYU. It's one guy. Dom Cristiano, 20 points. He's 10 of 12 from the field. Just playing outstanding. For the Emory Eagles, Matt Davitt has 11. Matthew Snare has 10. Lawrence Rowley has 9. Roman Williams has 9. Nick Stuck has 4. Clay Washburn has 2. And that's your scoring for the Emory Eagles. We'll be back in just a few minutes after this message from Emory University and the NCAA.
when you're in college, you kind of find out who you are. And throughout your four years, you develop yourself with all the different experiences, which leads into dedicating yourself to your community, to your family. So when you're a senior, you're coming out a well-rounded person. College has given me the flexibility to pursue my passions and my interests outside of the classroom and outside of the court or field. I've had the ability to get into different activities and organizations, and I've recreated my identity for myself aside from just being an athlete. Getting to be involved in a lot of different things, brand new from obviously being a student athlete to getting involved with my campus and my community, and not only being allowed to do that, but being encouraged to do that. The opportunity be to be able to study what I wanted to and continue to play the sport I love, to have the professors know me on a personal level, all of those things came together uh, very nicely in one package in Division Three. Being a part of the different activities and organizations that I've been a part of, I'm actually able to see myself where I'm like, hey, I actually can make a change. I'm one person that can make a difference. It really helps you develop thinking from other people's perspectives and looking at problems from outside the box. Division Three has helped me to develop teamwork skills, critical thinking skills, time management skills. I've definitely learned how to really be myself. I found out, yes, I am actually a good leader, and yes, I can actually put myself forward because I am good enough. I can do it. Coming in to college, I just wanted to get good grades and to do well. But I also made me realize that I have a lot of different career goals and I've learned so much about myself that I was always like growing and changing. When I got to college, it forced me to step up and become more of a leader. And I think that was something I had the capability of doing and forever grateful that being at a Division III school gave me that opportunity. You have to dedicate your time in the classroom. You have to dedicate your time in the gym, on the field, on the court. Our coaches and all the entirety of the athletic department, they valued the student athlete going out to community and trying something new and getting involved in campus life. You can get involved in so many different things. Um, so the possibilities are truly limitless for what you can do with your college experience. You can kind of make it your own in the Division Three setting. So I would encourage people who want to have flexibility to pursue different interests and passions to go D3.
Hi again, everybody, and welcome back to Emory University men's basketball. We're at the half, Emory and NYU, and Emory with a big 18-point lead here at the break, 45-27. to 27. Emory was led in scoring by the uh, 11 points of Matt Davitt. They had uh, 10 points from Matthew Snare. Lawrence Rowley had nine points, including a couple of three-pointers. Uh, Roman Williams had nine points. Nick Stuck had four. Clay Washburn had two, and that's your scoring for the Emory Eagles for the NYU Violets. Number 22, Dom Cristiano is the man. He was 11 of 13 from the field for 22 big points. He also had five rebounds. Just two other guys scored field goals. Uh, Bobby Hawkinson had two points. Jewel Brown had two points. And then Cade Hoppy had uh, one free throw. So uh, other than Don Cristiano, it's been a one-man wrecking crew. He has 22 of the 27 points for NYU. Emory with a, set, uh, with a comfortable 18-point lead here at the break, 45 to 27, your score right now. So let's take a look at some of the other halftime stats that we have for you. Emory shooting 17 of 39 from the uh, field for 43.6%. Emory was 6 of 16 from the home run area, 37.5% for three-pointers. Emory was 5 for 5 from the charity stripe. That's an L perfecto 100%. For NYU, they hit just 13 of 36, 36% 36 from the field. And, of course, Don Cristiano was 11 of 13 out of that 13 of 36 uh, in the first half. Also, from the three-point arc, NYU 0 of 6. Uh, they had just two free throws. They made one of the two for 50%. So, really, um, Emory doing a very good job defensively. Uh, one guy has done most of the damage, Don Cristiano. He is an outstanding player. He's the leading scorer for NYU over the course of the season, averaging 15.4 points and 10.3 rebounds per game. But Emory with a comfortable lead right now. Emory with uh, three guys, in uh, two guys in double figures already and a couple of guys with nine points ready to get into double figures. They had ten, five guys in double figures on uh, Friday night against Brandeis, so... Once again, Emory continues to shoot well, play good defense. They have a comfortable lead right now as we get ready for the second half. Forty-five to twenty-seven, their score. Emory thirteen and four on the season, four and two in conference play, and of course the uh, the UAA conference all jammed up at the top spot with. Uh, Emory, Rochester, Chicago, and Wash U all with four and two records. So there's four teams tied for first at this moment. So it's going to be a good season, good run, and Emory right in the thick of things as they have been. 22, a rare miss by Dom Cristiano, and that was not a high percentage shot by any stretch of the imagination. Jabari Beatty now with it. Around the horn they go. Emory has the original starting five in. Roman Williams dishes it out to Matthew Snare, who drives in. Comes back outside. Eight seconds on the shot clock, so we're going to have to put a shot up here. Nick Suck drives in, puts one up. No good. Tipped up by Lawrence Rowley. No good. Cleared out of there by NYU. And it's 45-27. minute into the second half, nobody scored yet. Cassieri with it. Top of the key comes over to Jewel Brown. Jewel Brown checked by Snare. And we got a shuffle of the feet by number four, Jordan Harris, the uh, Violet's point guard, a turnover. And it's Emory basketball. Emory forced nine turnovers in the first half by NYU. Three-pointer, Lawrence Rowley, a little bit too hard, cleared out of there by Martinelli, ahead to Harris, and here comes NYU, who pushes off. Harris gave Roman Williams a good shove, but nothing was whistled. Jumper, no good. Martinelli misfires, gets his own rebound, puts it back up, puts it in. Or check that, that was Cristiano again. He got his own rebound, put it up, so he has 24 points now. 45-29, your score. Emory looking for the first points of the second half. Three-pointer, no good. A rebound by Jewel Brown, and he'll bring it on up himself. They 
dish it off. Cristiano, that's the guy I'd go to if I was uh, NYU. And they get a foul called against, against uh, Lawrence Rowley. That's his first. That's the team's first here in the second half. Jewel Brown will trigger it in. Comes back outside. Harris with it. Checked by Roman Williams. Inside it goes. Cristiano. Little baby turnaround. There's a whistle. Cristiano just, he had the first foul of the game, and that's the only foul he has. That whistle goes against Matthew Snare of Emory. That's his second. Snare with 10 points. Matt David coming off the bench, had 11. He leads Emory. Cristiano hit the free throw. He's a 79% free throw shooter, shooting 56% from the field most days. Today he's 12 of 15 already. And he hits them both, 26 points. For the 6'8 junior out of Valhalla, New York. 45-31. Emory still hasn't scored here in the second half. Roman Williams shaking and baking. Comes back outside. Nick stuck inside. Rowley puts it up and puts it in. Lawrence Rowley. He's got 11 points now. He hits double figures. Emory gets on the scoreboard and it's 47-31. Lob pass into Cristiano, puts it in. He's not going to miss that one. And he has 28 points. He has just been outstanding today. 47-33. 14-point Emory lead. They're led by as many as 20 at 43-23. Lawrence Rowley now takes a seat. In comes Matt Davitt, turnaround jumper by Jabari Beatty and the senior out of Decatur, Georgia, hits that one, 49-33. Emory with the full court pressure. NYU again passing it very well, breaking the press. Cristiano misfires. That one was about a 15-footer. He's got six slam jams already. Snare thought about the three, comes back out, whistle blows. And it's called on Jimmy Martinelli, number 33. That's his first. Not a lot of fouls whistled so far in this game. The Emory Eagles women's basketball team just coming on to the sidelines here. They'll play right after this one, so you want to say tuned in for that game. Davitt now over the corner, Jabari Beatty. Inside it goes the snare. Good reverse. Won't go. Clean out of there by Demps, the freshman. Jewel Brown. Cassieri. Back to Brown. He finds a wide open Hoppy underneath, and Cade Hoppy puts it in. And then almost a steal by Jewel Brown. Emory basketball, 49-35. Emory's lead is at 14. Led by 18 at the half. The burial Beatty, Nick stuck with it. Jumper good, three-pointer. Roman Williams, he's got 12. Nice three-point shot there, 52-35. Emory playing the good defense. Hawkinson now in there. Bobby Hawkinson, number five. Jewel Brown to Hawkinson. Comes over to Cassieri, who shoots the three and hits the three. Number 30, Alex Cassieri. He's a 6'1", 165-pound freshman out of Deerfield, Illinois. He hits that one. And we've got a timeout with 15-16 to go in the game. Emory with the lead, 52 to 38. 
Let's take a look at the Emory scoring leaders right now. Roman Williams leads the way, 17.2 points per game. Matt David, who's come off the bench nicely and given the Emory Eagles a good scoring punch off the bench all season long, averaging 16.9 points. Lawrence Rowley, 14.5 points per game. Matt Snare at 13.2 points. And uh, Javeri Beatty, 10.1 points per game. So they've got five guys averaging in double figures this year for the Emory Eagles. Let's take a look at the rebound leaders as well. Lawrence Rowley, he's averaging just a whisker under eight rebounds per game. Matt Snare is next at 6.6 .6 rebounds per. Matt Davitt, 6.1 rebounds a game. Roman Williams, one of the guards, and Jabari Beatty, the other guard, 3.5 rebounds per game, and that's the rebounding story for your Emory Eagles so far this year. Coach Jason Zimmerman, the all-time winningest coach in Emory University history. He's got 208 career wins. Just done an outstanding job for Emory University. Nine consecutive winning seasons, six consecutive trips to the NCAA tournament. One of those years they got to the grade eight. So Emory a force to be reckoned with in Division III basketball. 52 to 38 your score. Whistle blows against Hawkinson, so Emory's going to take it out of bounds underneath their own hoop. Comes out to Matt David, who's just entered the game. Matt spins, dishes off nicely to Matthew Snare. Great two-man play, David to Snare. You can't stop that, and it's 54 to 38, Emory on top. Demp with it. He gives it up to Jewel Brown, who loses the handle. Steal by Roman Williams. He leads the fast break. Watch him go. This is off nicely. And there's a whistle. And they got Roman Williams on a charge. Going a little bit too fast for the hoop before he dished off to Matthew Snare. Emery again with the full court pressure. Hawkinson dribbles it up. And puts it up and puts it in. And I think they're going to score that. And Hawkinson's going to go to the line with a chance for a three-point lay. Play Bobby Hawkinson averaging nine points a game, 6.7 rebounds per game. He's just a sophomore, 6-7. Out of Frankfurt, Illinois, he's averaging 73% uh, from the free throw line. And he nails that one. So Emory's lead now, 13 points. At 54-41. And we have another whistle. Clay Washburn now checking in for the Emory Eagles. Very old Beatty is out there as well. Matthew Snare, Matt Davitt, and Nick Stuck. Those are your five in the home jerseys. 54-41. Emory with a 13-point lead. 14-26 to go. Stuck tries to get it into Clay Washburn. Gets deflected out of bounds, so it's Emory basketball again. To Barry Beatty. Stolen away by Demps. Quickly ahead to Jewel Brown. Jewel Brown back to Demps. Hawkinson, top of the key. He keeps it. Backs in, backs in, almost stolen by Matthew Snare. And we have a whistle. Fouls on 33, Clay Washburn, that's his first. That's the team's fifth. So Jewel Brown will trigger it in. Gets into Hawkinson, cross court it goes, and a whistle. He was on the line, Jimmy Martinelli, before he shot the basketball. You need to have both feet inbounds before you decide to shoot it. So it's a turnover. It's Emory's basketball, 54-41 year score. Nick stuck with it. Matt Davitt, he has 11 points. 
Clay Washburn can shoot from out there. Davitt can shoot from out there. He does. He hits. He's got 14. Matt Davitt. And he's got three three-pointers. Well, guess who that was? Dom Cristiano. He hits another one. He's got 30. They're going to run out of light bulbs for him up on the scoreboard if he keeps, keeps this up. Washburn, he hits the three-pointer. Clay Washburn hits a three, and we've got a timeout as Emory takes a 60-43 to lead thanks to Clay Washburn and his three-pointer. Here's the overall stand, the scoring leaders. Uh, Roman Williams, he's averaging 17.2 points. Matt David, 16.9. So back-to-back, -back, Emory right at the top of the UA overall scoring leaders. Jack Nolan from Washu, good talent there. Seth Henry from uh, Carnegie Mellon and Zach Howarth. We just saw them last week. Ryan Clamage from Rochester, he had 41 points the other day. Dom Cristiano, the guy we're watching, he has 30 already today. So his score <laughs> average is going to go up. And Lawrence Rowley, 14.5 points. So Emory has three of the top uh, eight guys there in the UAA scoring averaging. So Emory University just has an outstanding athletic department, athletic program headed by Dr. Michael Vienna, who's the athletic director, and along with Joyce Jaleel, his assistant. And they have a tremendous job. 25 NCAA titles. Emory's won 195 UAA championships. Emory's had 184 academic All-Americans and 112 NCAA post-grad scholars. So congratulations to Dr. Michael Vienna and his staff. They do an outstanding job. Emory, a very well-respected opponent in every sport. Emory's won... Uh, Five UAA championships in basketball, men's basketball in 1989, 1990, 2013, 2015, and 2016. And they just do an outstanding job. When you walk into the Woodruff PE Center, there's all these photographs of all these tremendous athletes in all the sports. And I really enjoy walking in and taking a look and seeing all the tremendous athletes and student athletes and scholar athletes that have come through Emory University. 60 to 43 the score. Inside it goes to Hawkinson. He's got to come back outside to Dems, who goes back inside to Hawkinson, who misfires on a short one. And Emery gets it, and Emery's out. Long Ranger, Clay Washburn. Boom! Back to back jacks by Clay Washburn. He's hit two three pointers in a row. And Emery's lead is quickly up to 20 points at 63 43. Dom Cristiano thought about hitting, shooting a 15-footer. There's Martinelli. It's blocked by Bo Marito, who just checked in. Bo's a 6'1", 190-pound senior out of St. Louis, Missouri. So Matt Davitt, he's whistled for his third personal foul, so he's going to take a bit of a breather. Lawrence Rowley's in, Clay Washburn's in, who just did back-to-back -back three pointers. Bo Bomarito's in there, Matthew Snare, and Roman Williams. Cristiano with three Emory guys on him, throws up an air ball. You can shoot one of those when you've got 30 points. Inside, Rowley battling, and he's fouled inside. Lawrence Rowley, he has 11 points already today. And Lawrence hits that one. Emory up now by 21, 64-43, biggest lead of the game. Clay Washburn's come off the bench to hit a couple of three-pointers and has eight points. Lawrence Rowley has 13. Roman Williams has 12. Matthew Snare has 12. And Matt Davitt has 14. So those are your leading scores there for the Emory Eagles. Foul whistled on Lawrence Rowley, his second. That's the team's seventh. So R Riley Dimps is going to hit shoot two free throws. He's a 6'2", 180-pound freshman. 
averaging 2.6 points per game. And he hits that one. Well, Roman Williams with it now. Top of the key to Clay. Emery works the ball so well. Good crisp passes. It leads to high percentage shots like that one by Lawrence Raleigh. 67-45, 22-point Emory lead. And Lawrence Rowley has 13 points. As the ball goes out of bounds, it's a turnover. It's going to be Emory basketball, and Clay Washburn will trigger it in. Clay Washburn with it. He's hit two or three from the home run arc. Bo Bomarito now inside. Across it goes. Luke Morrison has checked in for the Emory Eagles. He's got it there. Shoots the three. A little bit too hard. No good. Lawrence Rowley trying to get the board, but he was blocked out nicely there by Dom Cristiano, who has been doing everything. Scoring, rebounding. Inside it goes. Lays it up. Lays it in. Dom Cristiano with 32 big points. He's literally been unstoppable, but he's literally been all of the scoring offense of NYU. The next highest score is Bobby Hawkinson, who has five points. And Cristiano has 32 of the 47. In the corner, Clay Washburn from three, no good. Good rotation, just a little too hard out quickly. Great hustle, tremendous hustle, fantastic hustle by Clay Washburn to save that ball. He gets it back to his teammate, Roman Williams, who takes it coast to coast the rest of the way. But, you know, you should almost give Clay Washburn an assist on that one because without his tremendous hustle to save it, Roman doesn't have the basketball. And then Roman did the rest of it, and he has uh, 14 points now for the Emory Eagles. Inside it goes. Lawrence Rowley knocks it away before Cristiano can even go up with it. And he's going to go to the free throw line. That's the third on Lawrence Rowley. He's going to stay in. Coach Zimmerman talking to him about how you defense a guy like that. You know, Dom Cristiano is 6'8", 215 pounds, so he's a load inside in there. He hits the free throw. He's a good free throw shooter, hitting 79%. He's averaging 15.4 points, and he's got 33 already, and we've still got 10-14 to go in this game. Misses the second one. Clay Washburn rebounds. Roman Williams brings it across, and here we go. 69-48, 21-point Emory lead. Morrison. I think he's fouled. The foul's on number 30, Alex Cassieri. That's the team sixth. So they're not in the bonus just yet. Emory's going to trigger it inside. Roman Williams with it. He gets it to Clay Washburn in the corner to Matt David who just checked back in. Matt has three fouls. Morrison with it, number three. Long, long ranger. No good. Clay Washburn tries to keep it alive. And here comes Jewel Brown. He takes a few steps, lays it up, and puts it in. Jewel Brown now has four points for uh, the Violets of NYU. Jumper, no good. Good rebound by Bo Marito down inside. He comes back outside. It's tipped away. And NYU scores there on the fast break hoop by Noah Fennell. And it's 69-52. Inside, Davitt. Stripped away by Brown. Brown's going to lead the fast break. Brown's going to take it all the way. Brown's going to be fouled by Luke Morrison. That's his second foul. That's the team ninth, so NYU heavily into the bonus. 
Jewel Brown shoots the first. He hits. Jewel is a 54% free throw shooter. He's a senior, one of the captains on the team. He's averaging 8.4 points per game and 2.6 rebounds per game. He's out of Ardmore, Pennsylvania. Hits them both. Matthew Snare checks back in. And Bo Bomarito takes the seat. Nick stuck with it now. Into the corner, Clay Washburn. He comes up short, and out fly the Violets. Jewel Brown from three. That's short. That's an air ball. Now watch Roman Williams go. He's one on two just all by himself. Takes it in, puts it up, gets fouled. He is so quick off the dribble. One of the quickest guys you're going to find anywhere in the country. He can create shots. He can create opportunities for his teammates. He's just very dangerous with and without the basketball. He is just so quick. And he's just as quick dribbling it as he is without it. A little bit short there on that one. Roman Williams has 14 points. Matt David has 14. Matthew Snare has 12. 70 to 54, your score. Emory with a 16 point lead. Men as high as 22. Martinelli with it now. Looking for somewhere to go. Goes cross country to Jewel Brown. Inside to Cristiano. He puts up the baby hook shot. Banks it in. Off the glass. The Milton Drysdale shot. The banker. Corner now. Matthew Snare from three. He hits. He hits the three. Matthew Snare with 15. And he's going to go to the free throw line with a chance for a four-point play. 73-56 your score, 8.07 to go. Lawrence Rowley checks back in. Matt Davitt checks out. Clay Washburn is out there. Lawrence Rowley's out there. Nick Stuck is out there. And Roman Williams is out there. There you're five in white. And Matthews there hits the free throw. That's a four-point play. That's a 74-56 to lead. Emery still with a little pressure. Martinelli drives in and blocked. Just rejected by Clay Washburn. He just put a little spalding on the forehead of Martinelli. Jewel Brown now wanders over. He's going to throw in the inbound play. Inside they go to Hawkinson, who comes back out to Brown. And almost stolen away by Roman Williams, who anticipated that long pass, but... NYU now with it. Jewel Brown, 15-footer, puts it up. No good. Cleaned out of there by Roman Williams, who spins with it, drives in with it, and is fouled. I think the foul's going to be on number five, Bobby Hawkinson. Nope, they got it on number 22, Dom Cristiano. That's his second. Cristiano with 35 big points today, really putting on a show. He is 16 of 22 from the field. Just outstanding. Roman Williams hits that one. He's got 16 points. Matthew Snare has 16. Lawrence Rowley has 15. And Matt David has 14 to lead the way. So four Emory Eagles in double figures. 20-point lead, 76 to 56. Emery with the, the full court pressure. Martinelli with it. Takes about four steps. Puts it up and then a whistle. And let's see who they got. It's on Clay Washburn, number 33. That's the team's 10th foul. That's Clay Washburn's second foul. Clay Washburn has eight points uh, for the second straight uh, game. He's done an excellent job coming off the bench for Coach Jason Zimmerman. Martinelli hits the free throw. And Martinelli's second one is good as well. 76 to 58, 7.26 to go. Nick stuck with it, drives in, 
Nobody stops him. Comes back out to Roman Williams from three. In and out. No good. Tipped up by Lawrence Rowley, who had position. And when you're going for offensive rebounds, that's what you want. You want to have blocked out and have position. He had it. He went back up, tried to tip it in, and was fouled in the process. So he's going to get two free throws. And he hits the first. From Ypsilanti, Michigan, he hits the second one. And he has 17 points. 78-58, 20-point Emory advantage. Cassieri with it into the corner here to Martinelli. Martinelli to Hawkinson who comes around back to Jewel Brown. Inside it goes. Hoppy with an air ball no good. Rebound by Hawkinson who tries to bang it off an Emory leg that is unsuccessful. And here come the Eagles flying out on the fast break quickly to Roman Williams who scores and is going to go to the free throw line. Emory University, just an offensive machine. They're tops in the conference and scoring at 93.6 points per game. They've got 80 points already with 6.48 to go in this game. Roman Williams at the line. He's already scored 19 points. And he gets the three-point play as that one goes in. He has 20. And NYU calls a timeout. Let's take a look on our Emory Vision Super Slow Mo. Roman Williams puts it up and puts it in. And he's having an outstanding game with 20 points on the night. Of course, Emory University was founded in Oxford, Georgia, originally in 1836. It moved to its present location in 1915. Over 15,000 students are here, over 7,900 undergrads. There are over 14,000 faculty and staff members here, all presided over by the 20th president of Emory University, Claire Sturk, who does an outstanding job of running the university. It's just a beautiful campus. And it just doesn't get any better here than Emory University. 81 to 58 year score right now, 648 to go. Emory closing in on its 14th victory of the season. Emory's had nine consecutive winning seasons under coach Jason Zimmerman, including six straight trips to the NCAA tournament. They are four and two in conference play. They're tied with four other schools at four and two. So that'll shake out a little bit today. And then Next week, Emory hits the road. They go to Brandeis and NYU, so they'll play the same two teams they played this weekend. And then they're back on the home hardwood here at the Woodruff PE Center. They'll take on Washington University and the University of Chicago on February 8th and February 10th. And, of course, we'll have those games for you here on Emory Vision Television on our network. 81-58, your score. Jewel Brown with it. He gives it up to Martinelli. Martinelli trying to get it inside of their big guy, Cristiano. Long range, no good. What a rebound. Lawrence Rowley just went up and said, this one is mine. Rips it down. Back out it comes. Snare takes it to the hole, and it's blocked. And there's a foul called. Matthew Snare will go to the free throw line. He went to the line with determination. He went to, that, to the hoop with determination. The foul is on Bobby Hawkinson. That's his third. That's the team's tenth, so both teams in the in the bonus. Matthew Snare hits. He's got 16 points. Little short on that one. Nick Stuck trying to get the offensive rebound. Almost stolen away there by Matthew Snare. And he did force the air as a last touch. Jewel Brown, so it's going to be Emory University basketball on the sideline. Clay Washburn is back in there. Nick Stuck, Lawrence Rowley, Matthew Snare, and Roman Williams. Those are your five in white for Emory. Rowley with it. Nick Stuck drives in. Dishes nicely. Can't come up with it, and it's stolen away. Long pass is now re-stolen away by Matthew Snare who's a good ball handler for a big guy. Long range, three-pointer, and it's good. 
Roman Williams with the home run, 23 points for the sophomore out of Harvey, Louisiana. Emory up 85, 58. Cassieri with it, goes cross court to Brown. Martinelli with it, Hawkinson. Loses the handle and out fly Emery. Four on two fast break. Clay gives it up to Nick Stuck who takes it in, lays it up, lays it in. Nick Stuck has six points and Emery has the lead at 87 to 58, a 29 point Emery lead, biggest of the ball game. Jewel Brown takes it in, changes hands, lays it up and lays it in. And there's a whistle. I'm not quite sure what the whistle is. But Emory does have a 27-point lead with 5.08 to go. There are three Emory Eagles. All right, there's been a technical foul called on NYU's number 11, Jewel Brown. So Clay Washburn hits that. He has nine points. He must have said a magic word or two. And Jewel Brown is on the bench now. It should be Emory basketball. Referees are going to confer. Eighty-eight, sixty, five oh eight to go. Emory cruising in on win number fourteen on the season. Emory on a three-game winning streak right now. NYU on a six-game losing skid. Clay Washburn triggers it in. Lawrence Williams has it. 88 to 65 minutes to go here in the basketball game. Luke Morrison back in there for Emory. Bo Bomarito as well. Clay Washburn hits the hardwood hard. That foul is called on number 21, Ted Georgiatis. And Clay's going to go to the free throw line. They were kind of battling and scrapping as Clay made a cut. And Georgiatis fouled him. Clay Washburn hits. He's in double figures now with 10 points. Emory paced by the 23 points of Roman Williams with five guys are in double figures. And Clay with 11 points. He takes an immediate seat, and Mason Johnson comes in, the 6'7 freshman out of Phoenix, Arizona. 90 to 60. 30 point lead, biggest of the game. NYU trying to go inside. Cristiano is fouled as he goes to the hoop. He's had 35 points tonight. As we check his shooting percentage, he's 16 of 22 from the field. 3 of 4 from the free throw line, and you add all that up, that's 35 points. He also has 7 rebounds. He has been a one-man wrecking crew for NYU, but it just hasn't been enough. He had 22 points at the half. He's got 36 points now with 4.31 to go in the game. It's Barry Beatty checking back in for Emory. Roman Williams will take a break. Cristiano up and in. 37 points. For the junior out of Valhalla, New York. Matt David with it now. And another whistle away from the ball. This one's going against the Emory Eagles. And the foul's on 24, Jabari Beatty. That's his second. Cassieri brings it across. Cassieri thinks about the three, goes inside. Long ranger, no good by Cristiano. One of his rare misses. He's got six big dunks today as well. 
fouls on Cristiano. That's his third. And that sends Matt Davitt to the line. And he's shooting two. He's got 14, make it 15. Matt's a 6'7 sophomore, 220 pounder out of Lawrence University Heights, Ohio. Played at St. Ignatius High School. Hits them both, has 16 points. Cassieri with it. He's guarded by Jabari Albady, who drops off. Dimps drives on Luke Morrison. I think Luke might have caught him. Yep, that's Luke's third. That, that'll send Riley Dimps to the line, number 14. He's shooting a couple. Makes the first. NYU's got everybody else back. Just the free throw shooter there. As Dems hits them both. 92 to 64. Emory right at its season's average already, so it's looking like a good chance to hit the 100 point mark. Inside it goes to Matt Davitt. He hangs in the air, banks it off a little too hard, battles for it. Cristiano comes up with it. That's his eighth rebound. Cross court it goes. Cassieri from three. No good. Rebound Matt Davitt. It's going to be NYU basketball. With 324 to go. NYU comes all the way back out. Their leading scorer takes it to the hole. He can't miss make them all. Dom Cristiano misfires on that one. He has 37 points. Jumper, no good. Battling for the rebound is Bo Bomarito. It goes out of bounds. Mason Johnson took the jumper. It's going to be Emory basketball, and Bo Bomarito will check it in from the sideline. And now Coach Jason Zimmerman makes a lot of substitutions. Spencer Osborne, number 11, comes in. Number 12, Nick Tapajenin comes in. 44, Mason Johnson remains out there. Joseph Katz, number 22, is out there. And number two, Pierre Coffey is out there. So those are your five in white. Coffey goes into the corner to Katz and then back out. Three minutes to go in the game. Pierre Coffey dishes it off. Mason Johnson has it, loses the handle. And Cassieri comes away with it for NYU. Deep in the corner, long range three-pointer. And that one's good by Jack Heller. Jack Heller hits his first shot of the game, a three-pointer. And it's 92-67. to 67. Spencer Osborne with it, spinning, shooting. Misfiring and cleared out of there. Cassieri with it now across the timeline. He loses it, kicks it off his foot. But they might have whistled a foul first. They did. They're calling a foul on Pierre Coffey. So number 30, Alex Cassieri is at the free throw line. He's a freshman, 6'1", 165 pounder out of Deerfield, Illinois. He's an 80% free throw shooter. And he hits that one. Mason Johnson triggers it in. Joseph Katz will bring it across the timeline. Guarded by Demps. Tupajana drives in. Nick just a little short, but he's going to go to the free throw line. Nick is a 6'3", 180-pound junior out of Dover, Massachusetts. Coach Jason Zimmerman tells me that he's a great shooter. He's a great teammate. Really one of the leaders on this ball club. Hits the first. Entering the game for NYU, Joseph 
And he hits them both. So Nick gets a couple. 94-69 your score. 210 to go in the game. Zinson now with it. Comes outside. Long range three-pointer. No good. Rebound by Joseph Katz. Nick drives in. Hook pass back to Mason Johnson. He's going to drive into the paint. Dishes it off to Pierre Coffey who gets a foul. But then he's going to go to the free throw line to shoot a couple. Minute 40 to go in this one. Emory on its way to its 14th win. Emory will be 14 and 4 and 5 and 2 in conference play. There are four going into today. There are four teams in the UAA tied with four and two records. So we'll see how that'll all shake out. Emory's definitely going to be one of them going to five and two. Pierre Coffey. Miss Fires there. Tipped out of bounds. Going to be NYU basketball. Emory men's basketball has been UAA champions five times in 1989, 1990, and then in 2013, 2015, and 2016 over Coach Jason Zimmerman. And a timeout's been called here. So we'll check out with the leading scores. For NYU, Dom Cristiano, he's just been outstanding. He has 37 points to pace the way. He's just been fantastic. Roman Williams, he has 23 points for uh, Emory. Lawrence Rowley has 17 points and 7 rebounds. Matthew Snare has 17 points and 8 rebounds. Matt Davitt has 16 points and 2 rebounds. Uh, Clay Washburn has 11 points and 4 rebounds. Nick Stuck has 6 points and 8 assists. Nick Tubbajanan just hit two points there. Jabari L. Beatty has two points. And Pierre Coffey has a point. So that adds up to 95 points above Emory's scoring average, which is tops in the UAA at 93.6 points per game. The only question mark is will they hit the century mark? Can they get five more points in the next uh, 98 seconds or not? We'll wait and see. The win is securely uh, in the win column. Tom Cristiano with 37 points on 16 of 23 shooting from the field. And he also has eight rebounds. So he's had just a whale of a game for the Violets. Under two minutes to go. Demps with it. Turnaround jumper, no good. Zinson tries to keep it alive. Dems comes up with it. And he loses the handle, but he says it goes off the foot of uh, Pierre Coffey. So it's going to be NYU basketball underneath their own hoop. Number three, Jack Heller's going to trigger it inbounds. He comes all the way back out to Dems. Dems thinks about shooting the three-pointer from out there. Drives in, puts up the left-hander, no good. Katz with the rebound and leading the fast break for the M Eagles. Goes cross-court, it goes. Coffee loses the handle. Demps with it now. He goes all the way and lays it up and in. Riley Demps with that hoop makes it 95 to 71. 53 seconds to go. Coffee with it again. Cross court it goes to Nick. Nick spins. He loses the handle. Cassieri drives in, puts it up, and he collects the foul. For number 11, Spencer Osborne. Remember, 30 minutes after the end of this one, the uh, Emory University women's basketball team plays on the same Emory Vision Network, so you're going to want to stick around for that. Cassieri hits the first. Thirty-nine seconds to go in the game. Ninety-five seventy-three it is. Emory with a Noah Fennel ends the enters the game for NYU, number twenty-four. Cats with it, looking for somewhere to go. Mason Johnson. Cats drives in, 
Gives it up to Coffey. Coffey drives in, and he's going to be fouled. So the foul's on Noah Fennell. That's his second. Next week, Emory hits the road. They'll be at Brandeis on Friday. They'll be at NYU, a rematch of this game on Sunday. And they're back home the following Friday, February 8th, to take on Washington U in what will be a huge game. And then on Sunday at high noon, on these same Emory channels, it's going to be University of Chicago. Emory has lost this time this year twice in conference play, once to Rochester and once to University of Chicago. Eight seconds to go. Riley Demp scores. 97 to 75. That's probably gonna do it. And the Emory University Eagles win another, make it four in a row for the Emory Eagles in conference play. They raise their record to 14 and four, five and two in the conference as they defeat the Violets of NYU, 97 to 75, your final score. Let's check in with the leading scores. First, for the visitors, the NYU Violets, Dom Cristiano, huge game, 37 points, 16 to 23 from the field, eight rebounds, 37 points, nobody else in double figures for NYU. For the Emory Eagles, Roman Williams leads the way with 23 points, including three three-pointers. Lawrence Rowley has 17 points. Matthew Snare has 17 points. Matt Davitt was four for four from the three-point area. He has 16 points. Clay Washburn had a couple of three-pointers. He has 11 points. Nick Stuck had six points and eight assists. Uh, Pierre Coffey had three points. Nick Tupajanin has two. Jabari Beatty has two. And that's your scoring for the Emory Eagles. As I said, Emory now 14-4 and four on the season, 5-2 and two in conference play. Uh, they hit the road next week. They're at Brandeis on Friday. They are at NYU on Sunday. Then they're back here a week later, February 8th, Washington University. That game will tip off at 8 o'clock. And then at high noon on February 10th, it'll be the University of Chicago coming to town. You'll want to tune in for that as well. Coming up in about 20 minutes is the women's game. You're going to want to watch that as well. So until next time, have a great week. This is Mark Harmon saying so long, everybody.